crafters! This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse, and I'm here with the Copper Plate Holidays Collection. This is a beautiful, gorgeous collection designed by Paul Antonio for Spellbinders. I'll go into more detail about Paul Antonio. He is from the islands. I did a little research. So he's from Trinidad. I am from Jamaica. So hey. <laughs> But his love of calligraphy has taken him all over the world. He has studied it. The copper plate style is actually a script. Think of copper plate like a font. It's called copper plate script. And that's why the whole line is copper plate holidays. Paul Antonio has studied calligraphy. He has traveled the world. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look how pretty it is here. It just elevates all your cards. I love it. Also, crafters, Kit Club is about to end. Kit Club ends on the 27th for new subscriptions. So I will link my Kit Club video here if you want to take a look at all the goodies in Kit Club. Also, new at Spellbinders, along with this beautiful collection, something that I have, you may have seen it up here in the past, this beauty. This is the Sarah Renee Color Cube. Spellbinders is now actually carrying this. Yay! There is the Color Cube Box 1 and the Color Cube Box 2. Now, I purchased mine all the way from Australia and had to wait for it. There is a great deal at Spellbinders. You can get each box at $40 or the two-box combo for 67. I'll put how many cards you're going to get. Her color cubes will help you make decisions for your colors when you're making cards, doing projects. She likes to do a lot of coloring and on the back you'll also get a reference. Spellbinders is now carrying Sarah's color cube. This is exciting because now at 100 at Spellbinders you get free shipping. So if you get some of this fun and excitement from Paul Antonio. And then the two box, guess what? Free shipping. I certainly did not get free shipping when I bought my box. You're going to get a lot of color options. Look how fabulous this is. You pull them out and do the colors. It also works with your markers, whether you have Copics or your Olo markers, Ohuhu, any brand of alcohol markers, paints. Definitely check out these color cubes because this is something that was recommended by Jennifer McGuire. She uses it. If you are stuck in a color rut, this will help you. So it helps with interior design too. Yay. Okay, crafters, let's get into this video of calligraphy goodness that you can better press and glimmer. Let's get started. Here are the eight items in the better press copper plate holiday sentiments. Five sets of sentiments, one tag die. Over here, these are the exclusives. So what I did is put two sets on one packaging. This set of six items, which includes warm wishes, believe, happy holidays, joy to the world, merry Christmas, and the copper plate, gift tag, press plate, and die. All six items here are available as a bundle discount price on that. So that's fabulous. And if you love this calligraphy style, and I did watch a video where Paul described his beginnings in Trinidad as a little boy loving calligraphy. And he took that love as a child and turned it into a whole career studying abroad. He was approached by the royal office in England. So he was one of the scribes for the queen. And he showed an example, Queen Elizabeth II. And when they would introduce new laws, he would write it out in that style in real vellum. Not the vellum we use, but real calfskin vellum. It's a whole journey really really interesting let me do a quick measurement on merry christmas three and a quarter inch wide two and a quarter inch tall the tag three and a half by two and three quarter warm wishes two and three quarters of an inch tall two and three quarters of an inch wide joy to the world four inches wide by two inches tall, okay? This is just so elegant, so beautiful. There's also the original copper plate everyday sentiments. Happy birthday, thank you, congratulations, miss you, thinking of you, hello. I've shown you this before, but I just wanted to show you that this is the holiday version. So if you're seeing this for the first time, there's also the everyday. So here are the six items. So this can be purchased at Spellbinders and everywhere else. What's only available at Spellbinders is the exclusive. This is Copper Plate, Peace on Earth, Press Plate, and Happy New Year. 
These can only be purchased at Spellbinders. Piece on Earth is three and three quarters of an inch wide by under one inch tall. Happy New Year, three and one eighth of an inch wide by two and a half inch tall. The example of Peace on Earth. You've seen this from me in my previous video, Home for the Holidays. I'll link it here so you can take a look at that one. So with the Peace on Earth, you're seeing it here on porcelain cotton card, black better press ink. And for this sizing, I used the five by seven cotton card panel. If you don't have the pre-cut, you can also take the full size, which is eight and a half by 11, 25 sheets. This is 118 pounds for the cotton card panel. This will give you the optimal look of that press plate. If you use the cotton card panel with better press ink, I haven't tried it glimmered. Glimmered is going to look maybe just a hair thicker, just the nature of glimmer and better press. Better press is going to be crisp like this so if you have a better press and you want to send stunning beautiful elegant cards to family and friends this is a collection here i am mixing better press better press and a die set you don't have to i just got an idea for this one so you'll be seeing a card coming from me with this in the future here in the background sprinkled confetti press plate Love, 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 love. I glimmered this. I also pressed it here. This is with Cosmic Sky Better Press Ink. Look how gorgeous that is. And then I just brought on some Distress Oxide lightly up here and then have it going from the big dots coming down to the small dots. But you can reverse it too. It's a fabulous press plate. So I combined the two together with that spacing. Here, for the trees, I'm using the Bottle Brush Tree Duos. This, I believe, is on clearance. And all I did was die cut two of this and one of that. Brush Silver cardstock and partly cloudy cardstock. On the top, I'm using Spellbinder's Pop-Up Glitter Foam in red and green. I just die cut all those out. So I just layered up the trees. Normally, in the past, you've seen this from me. More fun and playful. This is the first time I'm doing it elegant because of Paul. <laughs> but I'm liking it this way. If you put the bottom of the bottle brush tree, then it looks more playful. Here you can use it for outdoor scenes. Seeing that this is on sale now, it might be a nice addition to his cards. And you can use this with all the sentiments too. The Merry Christmas, etc. The largest tree in here is three and a half by two. Up next, crafters, the Merry Christmas Copper Plate. Here I have it, A2 sizing. You could have this as place cards for Christmas dinner. This would be really pretty. Or a card, too. But you can stretch this collection beyond just always being a card. Because this would be really pretty. I could see this on a plate for a nice, fancy Christmas dinner. For the foliage, I'm coming into my collection. Build a wreath. I'm using base here in forest cardstock. And then the pine in brushed gold. Poinsettia. I'm coming into the Christmas wreath add-on, the largest poinsettia and the small, layered up twice. And then I finished off the card with gold gems. I'm loving the gems. For the background here, I'm using notch corner frames. The largest die in here out of 10 is an A2, four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I just skipped over one more and have this popped up off of this. So super pretty, love it. It just is a nice way to frame that Merry Christmas. Love, love, love. For my next card, this one is featuring Happy Holidays, cut out in Wild Berry Better Press Ink, porcelain cotton card with a light bit of Distress Oxide picked raspberry in the back. I just wanted to try a fun colorway with this. I'm loving this Palm Beach Christmas again. <laughs> colorway. So Happy Holidays is three by two and a half inch, okay? So super pretty. So I use the wild berry to inspire this entire card. Black in the background. This is an A2 card. And then here I use some green card stock from my stash. Some forest card stock. I want to say this pink is from my stash too. For the foliage here, 
This is from the Handmade Christmas Card Making Kit. I will link my video here so you can see that beautiful kit and all the goodies and all seven cards that I made with that one. This is one of the die sets out of that collection. Three dies in that one. Delivering Joy Slay. I used a poinsettia. I used a little holly leaf and a little pine leaf. Tuck them in in different colors. This time I put a pearl in the center. So you get a different look with a pearl. If you want to elevate your card even more, consider a pearl. I normally go with the gem, but the pearl is kind of fun, right? So super pretty. In the background, I am back with this lovely one, the Winter Borders die. I'm using this one right here. These dies are six inches tall. This one has a width of one inch. I did cut my cardstock a little bit wider because I also added another border and I ran them both at the same time. I did this and this and then run it together. Just use a little bit of yellow tape to hold it down. And then for this one up here, I did this and the little cross. So these are little single styles. If I wanted to go even taller, I could add all three with this. And you'll see this style in my next example. Just a fabulous border die. Cuts very well, works well, and I like these added layers to it. For the remainder of my cards that are A2 without a shaped die, Assume that I'm using precision layering A2, A, and B. 16 dies in each. This one goes on super sale, so you might want to add this to your wish list. The largest dying set A is an A2, four and a quarter by five and a half inch. But if you layer between these two, you're going to get that one eighth of an inch spacing, which is really one sixteenth on each side. You're looking at this like this is a really wide spacing. It's actually not. It is black cardstock. A2 coming in here. It's a little bit of a height. So I have the 16th of an inch right here on each side. And then I also die cut this card base too. So it's layered up two times from that card base. And then I put my foliage just to highlight the sentiment with the Palm Beach Christmas. I just showed you happy holidays. Now we're going to go into joy to the world. This is the difference between porcelain cotton card and bisque cotton card. Now to line it up, I was using this area right here. Same thing here. I didn't use a W. I used the O-R-L-D right here is where I lined it up on the magnetic chase. Same thing here. I aligned it by that, not this. So now this one also features the winter borders, that one here. And this is with Spellbinder's new treasured cardstock. This is 15 sheets, five styles, there is gold, silver, and rose gold. In each one, you're going to get glitter metallic, matte metallic, brush metallic, mirror metallic, pearl metallic. This pearl metallic is what you're seeing here, which is a different color than Spellbinder's brush gold. Brush gold is a more brighter gold. This is a more antique gold. Very pretty colorway. I've been enjoying this treasured cardstock. It does have a low price point for that pack of specialty cardstock, okay? So I'll definitely be linking that below. Everything I'm talking about, I will be listing and linking below. In here, I'm also using Smoky Topaz Gem. For the florals, that would be nice to talk about. <laughs> For the florals, I'm using the new poinsettia spray dies. I cut the large and small poinsettia and then this little fabulous one right here that just gives you eight little holly leaves every time you run it. I love this card. Not a lot of width at all, right? Up next, I made a slimline card. To make a slimline card like this, you're going to need the full size of the cotton card panel, which is eight and a half by 11. So all I did was just cut a section here and then press it and I did warm wishes, okay? The same thing follows true here. I went with right here for the alignment. Two and seven eighths of an inch tall by two and three quarters of an inch wide. So there is warm wish and then there's also a believe plate. This one I did not use. This is porcelain cotton card panel with a little bit of distress oxide. And then on the top here of my slimline card, I have the delicate snowflakes. This is a beautiful die set. I cut this layered this on top of that and then this one i just cut twice and did a little stagger i'm using brush silver here but i'm also using the glitter metallic for here and these little bits too two and a quarter inch the larger one is two and a half okay 
And it's really nice to layer up. I put the little flowers here. This is in Spellbinders Glacier cardstock. And I like the warm wishes here. Sometimes I like to do something different with better press than your standard A2. I like to do fun things like five by seven. This is a A6 card though. Four and a half by six and a quarter slim line. And then over here, A2. So I like to vary it up. And these slim line cards are very nice. If you're going to send cash, then you would put cash in here or a check. So then it just lays flat. So nobody's feeling your envelope and taking out your gift for somebody. I know, isn't that bad? And lastly, crafters, I did cut out one of the tags. This is that gift tag press plate and die. So I cut out the tag. Again, ink blending. This is not with a cotton card panel. This is just with Simon's white cardstock. First time playing with it. And I came on with his new Astro Paste. There are nine pastes and I wanted to play with this with a stencil. So I'll finish this up and show you guys. But isn't this fun? And I love that this is big enough for you to tie a really pretty ribbon through it. You get the to and the from and the little holly. I think I gave you a measurement on it. Let me give it again. Three and a half by two and five eighths of an inch okay a little bit over two and a half so this color is clear skies look how that is so pretty so this is a whole new line there is lunar paste solar paste now there is astro paste let me show you real quick because this is a video coming too here are the nine colors so i could have also done warm wishes taken a stencil come in with glitter too so this is on white cardstock this is on black cardstock but look at this tag so this tag can work with all of this better press goodness but you could use this for anything so if you don't have a better press machine but you're loving the shape of the tag yay one day maybe you will get a better press then you can add this to it but this is a fabulous tag by itself love the shape and it would be nice to put little critters on it too so you can think about this beyond and this astro pace like i said coming back to paul antonio if i didn't use the snowflakes i could have done this in here with a stencil or just a swoosh and then something else this is fun i'm enjoying christmas in july i was waiting for it <laughs> this year i've been having lots of fun so crafters here are my five cards and a future tag <laughs> everything here is better pressed and i will list and link everything below i think this is a beautiful collection paul you're getting the yay for something fabulous this is the copper plate holiday sentiments collection okay crafters until the next video thanks so much for watching stay crafty my friends bye